Hey, sorry, who are you? We work here. We you're work here. Have to leave Thanks, gentlemen. Okay. I need to see some ID if you're security. Get off our property. I beg please. your pardon? Gentlemen, please. If you don't mind, please. Justin, you said you regretted your comments. He's covering his tracks. I mean, he still hasn't even answered to the Chinese police stations in Toronto. Is that vehicle? David Menzies for Rebel News here in Vaughan, Ontario. And folks, I'm standing outside the Carpenters District Council of Ontario. They're having an event here tonight and the special guest is Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. I don't know what Trudeau has to do with carpentry, but maybe we'll find out. In any event, I'm hoping to scrum um, Prime Minister Trudeau based on the incredible allegations that came out last week. As you know, the Globe and Mail reported via a CSIS whistleblower that the Chinese had in interfered in the 2021 federal election. The goal was to make sure that the Liberals get a minority government. So yeah, Beijing loves Justin Trudeau, but doesn't quite love him so much. They want him on a short leash, and they wanted to ensure that any Conservative candidates would lose that is those conservative candidates that had unpopular views of uh, communist China and indeed uh, Aaron O'Toole is convinced that at least nine conservative seats were lost thanks to Chinese interference so what is Justin Trudeau going to do about that well he has said that he's going to get to the bottom of this. No, not the Chinese interference in the election. He wants to find out who the CSIS whistleblowers are. Can you imagine? That was the sin. It was the messenger, not what happened in 2021. Incredible. As you can see around me, there are demonstrators. We only found out about the locale at the last minute, uh, which is against the rules, by the way. The prime minister and other cabinet the ministers are supposed to announce where and when they will be but they seem to not care about the rules whatsoever in any event i'm going to try to ask prime minister trudeau uh, i think the most pertinent question of all which is this were you complicit in the chinese interference in the 2021 federal election? I think it's a fair question. We know that some nine years ago, Justin Trudeau professed his admiration for the basic dictatorship of China. There's a level of, of uh, admiration I actually have for China. It only makes sense that he would see this regime as an ally, not an enemy. Let's see what happens. Hey guys, what brings you out to this Justin Trudeau event, sir? Do you guys have a media pass? Huh? Where are the media? Yes. Yeah, no, do you have news. a media pass? Have you registered with this event? Oh, they, um, I don't no, This think is so. private okay. property. We're going to have to ask you to leave. leave. Oh, okay. So who are you? We work here. We you're work here. Have to leave Thanks, gentlemen. Okay. I need to see some ID if you're security. Get off our property. I beg please, your pardon? Gentlemen, please. If you don't mind, please. The, no, the no, this whole there. property is owned by the Carpenters Union, okay. so you gentlemen are being asked to leave. Why do you love please Justin Trudeau, sir? I mean, why do I love Justin Trudeau? Yeah. It's not about love of anybody. Please get in <laughs> what, your vehicle. What has been Justin leave. Trudeau's greatest accomplishment so far? There you go. Please get in your vehicle and pack it up. Gents. Thank you. Okay? You, Thank you, you can't have a discussion with us? We're not having a discussion. We're asking you to leave. Please get in you your You don't vehicle. believe in the free press? I believe in freedom of speech for sure, but this is okay. not an event for you to be here. So we're asking you to leave. Kindly. What do you think about the Chinese government interfering in the 2021 election? Please stop, gentlemen. <laughs> I'm just asking questions. Please stop. You've been asked okay. to stop. Enough's enough. Thank you. Great. Well, we've been told we have to leave, officer. Uh, yeah, you so know. as you may or may not remember, we have a pamphlet <laughs> on how to have a safe, lawful, peaceful demonstration within York Region. Well, no, no, we're not demonstrators. We're members of the media. We're, yeah, we, so we still, don't have a... It's still private property here, and if the owners ask you to leave, okay. then you have to, to go under the Trespass to Property Act, but you're Thank welcome you. to remain on public property, which is the sidewalk. <laughs> How long did Trudeau know about this? And indeed, 
Did he help in the interference? Well, I'm going to tell you one thing. In his interview, was it last week? Uh, he did say uh, something about that he's going to investigate the leak. So what, right then and there, we stop what we're doing. He knows there's a leak. So the fact that there, he's not denying that there was no leak. So CSIS should automatically do an investigation. He's covering his tracks. I mean, he still hasn't even answered to the Chinese police stations in Toronto. There hasn't even been an inquiry with that, and they're still operating. Do you think these allegations are true? Absolutely. Anything the media says, it's the exact opposite, opposite usually anyways. He admitted that there's a leak, so that means therefore there was interference. And the thing is, like being in uh, finance for over 20 years, I've seen a lot of schemes and Ponzi's and all these different things. And uh, you know what, like the, the way a criminal mind thinks, they're going to tell you what exactly is going on. They're going to tell you. <laughs> Mr. Trudeau, were you involved in Chinese interference in the 2021 election? Were you involved in that? Don't touch me, I'm not on your property. Sir, what do you think about uh, the Chinese interfering in the 2021 election? Why aren't you investigating this? We will not be a We will not be a You want to take a picture of me? Guys, this is the MP that called us all Nazis. This is the that folks uh it looks like justin trudeau used um francesco sabara the mp for woodbridge as uh well a decoy what we saw over the weekend was absolutely awful uh the terry fox memorial and national monument uh the desecration like it was just awful the flying of the, the swastika and the confederate flag we saw that this this is not a regular protest if these Canadians are frustrated, we're all tired of COVID for the last two years. We're all tired. Justin Trudeau is now heading to an undisclosed location in Brampton. That's against the rules. He's supposed to say where he's going, but he breaks the rules with impunity. And it just makes sense. That's where he would end the evening, sneaking out of a building to go to a city where the sneaky one of all sneaky ones, Mayor Patrick Brown, is in power. Oh, what a lovely power couple they make. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. <laughs> Carpenter, did you like Justin Trudeau's speech tonight? No comment. No comment? Uh, please, oh, please can, can Justin Trudeau... Can you move so I can drive? Around? Okay, uh, do you need assistance in driving or...? Folks, we tried to bring you the other side of the story. That's why we're outside trying to chase down Justin Trudeau and ask him the impolite questions the mainstream media will not ask him. If you can support us, that would be so wonderful of you. Please go to rebelfieldreports.com. That's rebelfieldreports.com. And if you can donate a buck or three, we would greatly appreciate that. <laughs>